Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the It's Skin Baby Face BB Creams in Silky and Moisture. I did a fair bit of research online to find a description for each of the BB Creams, but I actually can't find any that are in English and the back of the packaging is all in Korean, so I don't really have a description of why each of these formulas are different, unfortunately. But the packaging description says, Absorbs oil and sweat for silky soft skin for long hours. Fine powder covers pores for silkier looking skin. Light coverage and controls sebum. How to use. Pull an amount of it onto puff and extend it onto face. The packaging of these BB creams is super cute. They come in this adorable little plastic cover with wings and the squeezy tube has a cute little angel face. The baby face collection of makeup all has the same packaging and I reviewed one of the finished beams previously. The Silky BB Cream formula is quite yellow in tone and is slightly too dark for my skin tone. It's actually not a bad fit for my skin tone during summer at the moment, which is actually quite nice, but it is too dark for winter. It has a medium thin texture, it's not runny, but it's also not thick and it's easy to spread across the skin. I don't like applying this BB Cream with brushes since it just tends to get pushed around my face a lot, which is very annoying, but it does have a lovely finish when it's applied with fingers or a sponge. It has a nice soft finish and medium coverage. I don't like building this BB cream up for more coverage because it does tend to get quite cakey. This BB cream has average oil controlling properties. It's not super matte the whole day, but I'm also not drowning in oil by the end of the day, which I quite like. The Moisture BB Cream is very similar to the Silky BB Cream. This shade is definitely pinker and cooler in tone than the Silky BB Cream and it does look a little odd on my skin. It is quite pale and since it's the opposite tone to my normal skin tone it looks paler in comparison to my neck which is not a good look. It has the same medium thin texture as the Silky BB Cream. It's not runny but it's also not thick and is easy to spread across the skin. Also the same with the Silky BB Cream, I don't like applying this BB Cream with brushes since it just spreads it around my face, which I don't like, but it does have a lovely finish when it's applied with fingers or a sponge. This BB Cream has a dewier finish than the Silky BB Cream since it's a moisturising formula. This formula has less oil control since it is an already moisturising formula, though it's not awful. My T-zone does need a wee blot at around 6 hours a wear, but it's not terrible. In comparison, both of these BB creams have a similar texture, though the colours are quite different. They're both quite pale, but the Silky BB Cream is much warmer in tone and the Moisture BB Cream is much cooler in tone. I think the colour difference is the biggest difference between these two formulas, but the Moisture formula also is slightly dewier than the Silky formula. The Silky formula also has slightly more sun protection at SPF 36 than the Moisture BB Cream, which is at SPF 30. I really love that these are quite inexpensive at about 8 to 10 US dollars each and they're really easy to apply with fingers or a sponge. They both have medium coverage and they're nice and silky looking on the skin and they don't emphasise my large pores. They have super cute packaging and the Silky BB Cream is quite a nice colour for my summer skin at the moment. I don't love that neither of these BB Creams are the best at building coverage and the Moisture BB Cream is too pink for my skin. I actually think that these wee BB creams are great value for money. The biggest difference between the two is definitely the shades. The Silky BB cream is really good for warm tone princesses around NC13, not quite 15 or 10. And the Moisture BB cream is good for fair cool toned princesses, probably around NW13 as well. 
They both have really lovely formulas and fair oil control, though they only have medium coverage which isn't really buildable, that doesn't bother me too much, you can't really see too much of my scarring so I'm happy with that. They're both pretty inexpensive so I would recommend the Silky BB Cream for any princesses that are around NC13 and the Moisture BB Cream for any princesses that are around NW13. Thank you so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time. Bye! What is this? Oh, it's the last time we wear those lime chrome glosses.